Hey guys, we're fixing sod problems, St. Augustine sod problems. You know, if you guys got, have some St. Augustine yards and you're just tired of always patching it because it's always full of fungus or, you know, St. Augustine take all those diseases that just kind of obliterate a lawn. Today we're kind of uh, helping out a client that has, has had some of those problems. We're gonna put in some soja grass for him and it's gonna look awesome and he's gonna have no more of those problems. The zoysia grass is not as susceptible to the diseases that St. Augustine gets. And, um, and aside from all that, it's a better looking lawn than St. Augustine. So anyways, we're putting in some, gr some zoysia grass today. It's gonna kind of a good job. This is the backyard. We've got the front yard as well. And uh, so if you guys got any questions about some zoysia grass, just hit us up in the comment section and I'll, I respond to those usually pretty quickly within a day. I know you guys are wondering, you know, what, what is zoysia grass used for? How much sunlight does it need? Uh, you know, come out to my property and see if it'll work. So all that kind of stuff, get in touch with us. We'll come out and take a look. So on the, on the process of this job, you see we have a nice layer of topsoil here. We put down a 50-50 compost topsoil mix and it helps us to level the lawn really great. And uh, sometimes we till a lawn if we need to. Sometimes we um, use our sod cutters and knock down some high spots and, and uh, fill in some low spots. But this the compost soil topsoil mix helps us to uh, basically get a fine grade so that whenever we lay the sod, it's all nice and even. You don't have any scalp spots when you mow it and it looks just stinking amazing. Um, the guys are just getting started this morning, putting in some of our grass. And uh, after we get it all in, of course, we'll roll it and make it all nice and compact, leaving no air pockets underneath the grass. And uh, it'll be all nice and beautiful. So this yard has a heck of a drainage problem, but he, he wanted this uh, swell put right in the middle of it to get that water to shed and go out the back gate. And then we've got the same kind of deal going on here in the front yard. Got a whole, whole bunch of guys working hard, doing good things, making an awesome lawn. And the cool thing is we're right here on this, this corner in this cul-de-sac. So all the neighbors have been stopping by saying, ooh, what kind of grass is that? I'm like, that's the best grass and you can't have it unless you give me a call. So. Anyways, zoysia grass is awesome. You're awesome. I'm awesome. He's awesome. Everything's awesome, man.